and they are changing Okay, let's test uh, different surfaces. So uh, in order to do that, we need some object we can step on. This cube mesh will be sufficient. Let's move it somewhere around here, dip it down even lower. And let's now make it maybe three by three. Okay, that will work. And let's copy it multiple times two three okay and once more this is nine and this is 12 so now we can go into each of those they're not even okay now they're even uh, let's go into each of those and let's just go into materials and we already did set up for each of those materials they are just a color and each of them has a physics material and each of physics material has a physics surface that we set up previously let's go through all of them and let's just add them to each of those tiles And we can test all those different sounds uh, now as we add it to our um, sound effect uh, group but we also have to specify cues for each of those so we go here we go into audio and we need to now make sound cue for each of those so this one will be called uh, carpet Mm. Oh, you know what? It will be actually easier if I just duplicate this one called carpet, duplicate concrete, duplicate grass, duplicate gradle, duplicate ground, metal plastic, sand, snow, water, and wood. And because those materials are pre-set up in this footsteps uh, with sound with blueprints, um, one from the marketplace we already installed, um, I will go into liberty into going into those sounds, going into cues, and we have only this footstep which is very complex and instead of going through everything that is going on there I will just copy this and this will be our carpet and then I will go here go into concrete uh, so let's make new surfaces so this is carpet it will be carpet then we'll add a new one this one is concrete it will be um, concrete ah where is it okay it's this one uh, let's go back into here set it up add another surface however we're going to have to add one more so this is the last one and we are setting it in the config but we still need to add one last one 12 which is default and default will be just concrete so you can just click this go back here and set it here because we need to have default one always inside this uh, map or otherwise, uh, otherwise it might break. Uh, OK, 
Okay. Okay, so now we made uh, this config, we just updated the config, added those materials to those tiles, and I don't have to do any changes to the character setup itself because it's using this data asset that we just edited. So if I hit play now and I go into those tiles, Okay, we got sounds in all surfaces that are completely different. So let's now just add particles in the exact same way as we did here. So we have to change this to carpet and carpet will be, uh, let's say general, let's add next one, concrete, it will be um, snow sparks. Uh, okay, there's not much to it. Let's say dirt. Let's add the next one. And the last one, wood. Wood will be uh, general 2. And we need default, and default will be general 1 or dirt. Let's add dirt, why not? Save it. And hit play. F11. And let's see. You know what, I will disable debug so it's easier to see uh, all the particles because I can barely see them with this background and all. So let's disable debug, compile, save and run it again. You can see particles spawning at my feet when my sound is spawning. And they are changing. Okay, so this is the basic config for everything. Completed with uh, sounds and particles and they are foot precise. So if you have more feet than two, you can uh, use it. I will show you how to utilize the entire uh, component in the next video. Thanks for listening.